Hey everybody, welcome back to Mallorca as we keep on trying to build them fincas. All right, so uh, it was Jen's turn because I just made my first big delivery. Now I've got six points, Jen's got five. And what is she going to do? Well, now, Jen can still see that I have the two dates I need to deliver. Remember, plus we want to deliver a lot of dates in since this is a, the closest thing to being scored. This is the first finca that might get built. And I need three oranges. And Jen, looking at the board, just realized that if she keeps her guy here, that uh, if I, on my turn, pick this guy up and move two spaces, one, two, I'll get the three oranges I need to complete that. So Jen figures she better beat feet out of there or else I'm going to get all the oranges I need. So she's going to move this guy. He's going to move two spaces, one, two, and that gets Jen one lemon. And now that's not bad because Jen's kind of eyeballing this right here. One of every type of fruit she could deliver here and get a six-pointer. Now, there's another thing we're racing on. The first player to have made deliveries of one, two, three, four, five, and six fruits gets this tile, which is worth seven points. The next player to do it gets six and then five and then four. So there's a lot of points to be had for diversifying on the size of deliveries. So Jen would like to get a number six delivered because then she's done a one, a four, and a six. If you can do a two, a three, and a five, she could be the first to snag one of these also. So there's just so many point scoring opportunities. But anyway, so Jen just did this. So she's all, she just needs one almond, but how is she going to get that? Because there's an almond over here. This guy can only move two spaces. There's an almond over here. This guy can only move one. So, but she'll worry about that in a second. So now it is my turn, and now I'm kind of bummed. I was just about to move over here and get my three oranges so I could finish that job, but now Jen has kind of blocked that. What would I want to do instead? Although, you know what, that guy, I'll still move anyway and just move two. One, two, and that gets me two of the three oranges I need to be able to make this delivery. All right, because once I make this delivery, I will have also delivered two dates, which means I'll have the majority of date slash almonds, so I could potentially get this five-pointer once this is done. So that was that, and now it's Jen's turn again. And right, she'd really like an almond. Now, she could get an almond right now if she wanted to throw two points away to use one of her special powers. This is one where she can pick up any worker and just put it on any blade she wants, no matter where. But she, oh, whoops, oh, by the way, I forgot. Um, when Jen crossed this line to come down here, she got another donkey. It's very important. You got, don't want to forget that you got that donkey. So anyway, so if Jen wanted, she could pick up any worker and just put it on an almond space. She'd only be collecting one since they're empty. But, and she would not, no matter where she moved from, she wouldn't get another donkey. So that's two points just any time she wants. But you really want to do that when there's a whole bunch of people. Like you might want to pick this guy up and move over here if you want a lot of grapes. That might be worth it. But using, losing two points just to pick up a single thing doesn't make much sense. This uh, one, if Jen uses it, she gets to do two regular worker moves in one turn. So she can make a really big, neat combo. This one, she can can use on one turn when she's going to make a delivery and she doesn't have to use a donkey she instead uses this super donkey that lets her deliver up to 10 fruit in one move and that could be yeah that could finish like a six and a four or something like that and then this last one is special this one lets you when you make a delivery you you discard this it's out of the game that's true for all these when you use them they're out of the game so you won't get the two points off them at the end and this lets you make a delivery of one less to a given area so you could say complete this with only five of the the six things you need. Or you can complete this without having any almonds at all, as an example. So, Jen's got those, but I don't think she's going to use any right away. She can see that I'm nowhere near close to having the variety I need to get this. So, I think what she's going to do is she's going to take this single guy, move him here, because he only moves one space, and that gets her two lemons. Okay. And she's doing that because next turn there's two guys here, so they'll be able to you know move and get her the almonds she needs to make that delivery. Okay, so now it is my turn again, and I need one more orange. And how can I get that? I can't get that right now, because these two guys, if I pick them, they'd only come over here. And now it'd be nice, I'd get three lemons. Then I'd have five lemons, which means I could make a delivery over here and complete one of those. That's pretty cool. Um, but if to get that, but on the flip side, I don't. Jen is nowhere near close to having the dates or the orange she needs for that. So I think I'll put my orange dreams on hold for a little bit, and instead I will pick up one of these two guys, and I'll just move him one two. I arrive here, I end up getting three lemons, and since I just crossed the line, I get another donkey. Okay, and so now it is Jen's turn again, and she's like, no. 
whoa, she was just about to move two spaces to get this almond, but now that there's three guys here, she has to move three to get more lemons. She doesn't need more lemons, she wanted that almond. Arg. Okay, so you can see how your, your fate is constantly shifting in this game. So, um, what is Jen going to do? Now, there's another danger as well. We're both starting to hoard a lot of these donkey carts. Uh, one more goes, and then a, a, if one more goes, then all of them are out. And if one more gets taken, they all get lost. So, we need to make some deliveries stat. So, what is Jen going to do? Well, she's going to have to put that on hold now. Um, because the uh, walnuts, or the, the almonds, are denied her. She can come over here, go one, two, get some olives, and then next turn she'd be able to get to that single. And in the meantime, she'd have some olives. And, you know, olives are going to become useful eventually. Although, who needs almonds right now? There's like one almond there. Plus, um, you know, no, I'm sorry, olives, not almonds. Yeah, nobody wants almonds or olives right now. But, I mean, they will eventually. I mean, you know, because all, all, actually, that's not entirely true. Every game, two of the potential tiles never show up. So you can never be 100% certain, even through process of elimination, of exactly what's going to be down there. Now, this is an interesting thing. Jen notes that, you know, she's got three lemons. I've got one, two, three, four, five. If Jen could right now collect five lemons, there's only four left in the supply. And that means what would happen is she'd lose her three, I'd lose my five, and then, she, you know, they'd all go back to supply, and then she could collect. So that's kind of an example of how this game can be cutthroat if you hoard stuff for too long. So, anyway, what is Jen going to do? She's got three lemons. Three lemons is going to get her bubkiss right now. That's kind of a... All right, so she's really got nothing going on. Um, so, I think she will just come over here and go one, two to get a single olive, which I'm sure will come in handy at some point. And now, next turn, this guy can get the almond, so she can do that. All right, so, back to me. Back to my turn, and now I've got five olives. Or f five lemons, I could go on hand and deliver them to either of these spaces, but it's a bit wasteful. If I had one almond as well, then I could do a full six. So that's not particularly exciting. I, I would, right. Um, what else could I do? This guy could get me even more lemons. I'm, <laughs> I'm done with lemons. I, oh, by the way, oh, I just noticed Jen crossed the line. All the carts are gone. So now this is very scary. Well, actually, no, it's not. If I cross the line, then I'll lose my two carts. Jen will lose her two, but then I'll get one. So I will end up coming out ahead. So right now, because we both hoarded our carts too much, it kind of behooves me to cross the line because I'll benefit from it more than Jen. If I were to do that, though, what would I do? This guy can't cross the line. This guy can't cross. This guy can go one, two, three. He can't cross the line. This guy could cross the line and get me one olive, which is not what I need right now. Um, all right. So, that's one, that's one, that's one. Well, what the heck, I'm just going to do it anyway. I'm just going to move one. And that's across the line. I've gotten one olive. And, hey, I need to take a donkey. There are no donkeys, so they all get returned. We both lost them. But then I came out on top because I've got one and Jen's got none. All right. So, um, now it's Jen's turn. And I've totally forgotten what it is she was trying to go for. Right. Has she got one of everything? One, two, three, four, five. What does she not have? One, two, three, four, five. She, oh, right. She's finally going to get that gosh darn almond she's been chasing after. Right? So, she gets her one almond. But now, she doesn't have a donkey to deliver it. So, she's got to find another one to cross the line to get the donkey to do her six of a kind delivery. Ah, okay. So, back to me. Back to my turn. In the meantime, what am I going to do? I still need to get just one more orange. And, um, oh, but I'd like to get one almond, too, so that when I make a delivery of five, I can do that as well. Can I get an almond? Yes, I can. I can just come right here and get an almond of my very own. And next turn, I'll be able to make a delivery, a fully fleshed out number six delivery. And, um... Here's the thing. Jen can see that, but there's nothing Jen can do. Well, actually, that's not entirely true. Jen, if she wanted to throw two points away, she could use her Super 10 delivery, but she doesn't have 10 fruit to deliver, so that'd be a huge waste. And Jen, um, So I think Jen's going to have to do something else right now. She moves one of these guys. They go one, two, three. That gets her two lemons. If she moves this guy, that gets her a uh, date. This guy gets her three, I think. But really, what she wants to be able to do is cross the line, but nobody can cross the line, so I guess I'll just come right here, and that gets her one, two, three grapes, which I'm sure will come in handy eventually. 
All right, like, say, for those three grapes right up there. And now next turn, Jen's got three. That's one, two, three. It still doesn't cross the line. Oh, but in the meantime, it took too long. It's my turn. I'm not going to collect. I'm not going to harvest. I'm going to deliver. I'm delivering five things, and it's going to be one, two, three, four, five delicious lemons. And let's say they all come to this space. And so I've delivered a six and a five now. And then I've revealed that. And... But I'm not done yet, I'm because I deliver up to six, I'm delivering this almond, and I've just scored this one pointer as well, thereby delivering, um, revealing that. Okay, cool. And I still need to get one more orange so I can make that delivery. Right, now, so that was my turn, and did that reveal anything that changes Jen's situation? Well, first of all, she can't deliver anything right now until she crosses the gosh darn line. And, um, wow. So... And she can either move these guys to move one, two, to, but which will get her all, which is nowhere near close. This guy can go three, though. One, two, three. And that gets her one orange. Orange. And she still hasn't crossed the line, so she can't make a delivery. But she's got a lot of stuff to deliver when she eventually crosses the line. And next turn, this guy can cross the line. Okay, my turn. And I'm kind of starting over from scratch now. I still want that one orange. Can I get it? And you can see how, if you're really smart, you can do a lot of advanced planning and try and figure out where you think your opponent's going to go so that you can get in the right place, so you can make the right move. But as it is, this guy can go one space to a date. This guy could go one space to a grape. This guy could go one space to lemon. So that then next turn, you can go two spaces to go across uh, to get olives and another cart. This guy can move three to get to lemons. I could get three guys here to get a whole bunch of lemons. And then I've got a triple that could move you know, across there and get me a few carts back to back. Um, or, in fact, I could just move one right here, and there's four. I just picked up four delicious lemons, mm, num, num. which I could make as a delivery right there because that needs four of a kind. And I need a four of a kind, at which point I'll have a six, five, four, and a one. All right, so I'm just going to go with that. Boom. Now, what did that do? All right, so ironically, Jen still, if she moves this one, two, three, four, she still won't cross the line. So as painful and slow as it is, Jen's just going to move this one guy to get this donkey and another olive. So Jen's got all the stuff in the universe, so she's probably going to make a delivery next turn. All right, and so now it is my turn, and I think I'll take advantage of this big uh, mover and shaker and go one, two, three, four. Well, I'm not too excited about that. I'll just move here, one, to get two lemons, and now there's only three lemons left in supply. There is a danger of the lemons going rotten, um, although that's a bigger danger for me because I've got all these lemons, but I've got enough lemons to make another five-point delivery. Although, um, I need to cross the line as well. And let's see, have I crossed the... I might have, That's the thing. I'm, I might be forgetting to cross the lines here every once in a while. Got to be more careful about that. Apologies if I did, but you know you can watch the annotations turn on. So anyway, it's Jen's turn. She's finally going to make a delivery now, I think. So, um, but I've totally forgotten what it is she's doing. Right, so she's got her of a kind, so she's got, um, right, so that would be her six of a kind, and that's just a full delivery, and that leaves a bunch of other stuff left over. What the heck, she's just going to do it. She's going to deliver six of a kind, one of everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And now the interesting thing is, I've been kind of going for the easier ones. These wild card ones aren't really helping me have the majority of deliveries. So, for instance, I've only delivered one almond. Jen, if 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 uh, if this Finca comes up here, Jen has delivered um, one almond and one date. So she's doing better than me because she's actually delivering specific stuff instead of wild card stuff. And there's all of her business. Okay. So now it's my turn again, and I'd like to make a delivery and get another five over there, but I got across the line again, and I can do it. I'm just going to have one of these guys move too. One, two, and hey, that got me a donkey, and it gave me another single olive. And so now next turn, I've got the five. Um, oh, now this is interesting, because I've got two dates. I could do two dates here, and I could do four, and so I'd get six points sold. I'd have a perfect delivery. That's pretty nice. And having delivered two dates plus my almond means I'd be in the lean for getting this finca when it's done. And also another one, when this uh, area gets, the finca here is based on whoever has just delivered the most period. Doesn't matter what type. So there's a race on for that. And right now I've done 11, 12, and Jen's done, um, well, Jen's done 11, so I'm a little bit in the lead. But anyway, so I've just gotten another donkey. It's Jen's turn. And Jen is a long ways away from being able to get any more donkeys. 
Now, ooh, oh my gosh, this is interesting. Remember I was talking about you cannot hoard stuff for too long? I think I have. Jen is just going to move one space here. Then she's landing here. That's five lemons. There are only one, two, three, four lemons in the supply. So Jen loses two. I lose all of my lemons. I waited too long. They all went bad. And then Jen ends up picking those five fresh new lemons. Ouch, that was painful. But that's the danger of holding on to stuff for too long. Yikes. Well, there goes my super delivery plan. Back to the drawn board for me. So what am I going to do? Well, let's see. Now there's five here. I could go one, two, three, four, five. I could get some more olives and I'd get another uh, donkey. So that's bad because if I don't do that, Jen's going to do that and she'll cross the line. So I better do it first. One, two, three, four, five. And hey, I get two olives and another donkey. Okay. There we go. And now it's Jen's turn. And now if she does these one, two, three, four, she won't cross the line. So once again, Jen's in a position where she's got a bunch of stuff. She can make deliveries, but she got no donkeys, no burrows. So where is she going to go? Uh, she can move one of these guys to get a single date. She can move one of these guys to go one, two, three, four and get a single. And if she gets over here, then she can move one and at least cross the line. So I think she'll move these guys one, two, three, four to get a single grape. All right. And so next turn, she'll be able to cross this line and get a donkey. But in the meantime, um, let's see. Now, I could, I could make my next two turns could be deliveries if I wanted. Do I want to do that? What do I got? Now I've got four olives that could go there. And again, once again, somehow I keep running out of oranges. I need one orange. How does this keep happening to me? So this guy can't get to the orange because he'd move three. This guy can't get the orange because he'd only move one. These guys would go one, two. This is kind of interesting. I'd get a whole bunch. If I go one, two, that's three grapes. So I'm kind of happy with that. And next turn, I'll probably make some deliveries because I got to make this three grape delivery up there, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm not worried because there's no way Jen's going to be able to make me lose both my donkeys. So now it's her turn. She needs a donkey. She's just going to move one. This gets her two olives, which does not empty out the supply. So mine don't disappear. But it also gets her a donkey. All right, so now it's my turn. I'm going to do some delivery. So donkey, go back. And so if I deliver three grapes up here, now do I have a three of a kind someplace else? Three oranges, but I only have two. Four. You know, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to deliver three grapes up here. So I've scored this. And... Um... I am going to use my minus one. Wait, actually, can I use my 10? So I've just delivered three. This would be four. Yeah, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to use my super donkey. I'm not going to use these regular donkeys I've been collecting. I'm going to use my super donkey. That lets me deliver up to 10. I just delivered three. Now I'm delivering four over here. And um, so I can deliver three more. Now, unfortunately, I've only got two, but I'm going to deliver these two over here. Wow, so I lost two points, but that was all in the interest of making a super delivery, and I believe I've done it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, and so this is out of the game, but I'm the first to do every type of delivery, so I just scored the best one, seven points. Wow. And we're still... Now, as soon as somebody makes this delivery of two lemons and three grapes, this thing is... So this is still the one that's closest to being delivered. Who's in the lead on this right now? I have... Right, it's dates plus almonds. I have done three total. Two dates and one almond. Jen has done um, one date and one almond. So if I can finish this, I can score that five points as well, and Jen can see it. Um, and she is not set to deliver dates or almonds anytime soon. Oh my goodness. But in the meantime, Jen, well, she probably wants to deliver something, I think, because uh, she's got a bunch of stuff. So what is she going to do? Uh, so she can deliver up to six things. She's got like... Well, she could finish this right now, but now is because she's got the lemons, she's got the, the grapes, but that means this would trigger. And again, let me double check. She has done one almond, one date. I have done two dates and one almond, so I would get this. So Jen does not want this to happen. That is not a good delivery for her to make. But she's got so much stuff. She can make a delivery just about anywhere. Um, although this is not a good one either because I've clearly delivered more than her in part because I threw two points away to do a super delivery. 
Now, Jen could do the same. She could do a big old 10 point super delivery, or you know, a, a 10 super delivery as well. Could she pull that off? She's got five. Wait, 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 wait. No, okay. So she's got like three to go there. And she's got two to go there, so that's five. And then, hmm, still, where, where, where are all the oranges? How is this happening? Or she could go for four here because she's got the uh, olives and the grapes. And then is there a six she could do? Or she could do a five. She could do that and that and then not get anything lower down. But, I mean, she'd be... She, all right, she has no dates, so that one's off out of the question. She has no almonds. Now here's the question. Is she going to do delivery? She doesn't have to. Is there, is there a good catch? Right, if she goes here, one, two, she could pick up three grapes... And there's plenty of grapes, so she wouldn't have to worry. And so she'd have even more grapes. Plus, no, but she wouldn't cross the line. She only has one uh, burrow. But coming over here, that means there'd be four here, and then she could cross the line again and get another donkey. Or should she just do the delivery? Ugh. I think she will just go on ahead and do a delivery. Yeah, I think. But it's a question of what's the best one. She wants to make a delivery of six. So five, there's no single, so she can't do that one. Although she could, let's say, if... Actually, hold on a second. All right. So there's five. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But no, that's not good enough because she's just one short there. I mean, I'm sure people are you know, at home screaming at the, uh, at the camera because they can see the perfect combination. And I'm just blind. I can't see it right now. But I know I don't want to do that because... Or Jen doesn't want to do that because she'll just be giving me those points. Um... Right. So if she does three here, and right, she can't do that, and that's four, so that's seven, and then she could do eight, nine. Man, there are a lot of walnuts, or not walnuts, almonds that are needed. Can she just get almonds? No, she can't, because she'd go right over this one. She'd land there. If she tries this, she'd go one, two, three. So either way, she's going to miss it, unless she uses one of her powers to just... To move twice, to make a move, yeah, no. All right, I think she'll just go for uh, a simple delivery of just trying to get six then. So what's the best use of getting six? I can't see it. All right, this is four. Yeah, okay, yeah, there it is. So she'll do these and these. Sorry, this took me so long to see, folks. I was just blind. And then she'll do that. So that's a perfect delivery of exactly six. And that got her a four. That's her second four, which is not exactly what she needs. And it got her a two. All right, and it revealed some new stuff. All right, and unfortunately, Jen, I'm still in the lead for completing this. But Jen, she's delivered a lot more grapes than me, which is probably going to help her if we complete this place. Um, and, you know, this one only has two left. This one has two left. Anyway, so that was a lot. And Jen still got a lot more. Uh, and so she could still make a delivery of five over there. Right, okay, so my turn. And I got nothing, although I got two donkeys and, um, and two oranges. So I need, what can I do? I need more oranges. So I could go one, two, three. I could go one. I could go one, two. I could go one. No matter, or, and, or I could go one. Oh, hey, look at this. I'm going to go three. One, two, three, and I get my orange, finally. And so I could just make this triple, or if I can get two dates, I can make that instead. Uh, so we'll worry about that in a second. So that was my move. And now it is Jen's turn. And once again, she is just in a bit of trouble because she does not have, she's not setting herself up to be able, although again, I bet you anything, I've crossed the line a few times and not picked up burrows and I was just being a dummy. So I apologize for that. But still, I mean, this is hopefully just so you can get an idea of how the game plays. So Jen can go one, two, three and get two lemons. That's a lot of lemons. She could go one, two and get three grapes. That's a lot of grapes. She could go uh, one, two, three. That's pretty much it. Or she can go one, two and get two dates. So dates are needed there. Dates are, ooh, dates are needed there. That's kind of interesting. But you know what? I think she'll go one, two to get herself three grapes. Right. Because then that means she can go over here to get oranges. And because wasn't there a grapes and oranges someplace? No, there's not. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so she did that. Now it's my turn. And, right, so now I need the two dates. 
I could get one date, right over here, I could, get, I could get one almond, or I could get one grape, or I could get one, two, three, I could get three lemons, or two lemons, with the current state of affairs. And, um, all right, I really want to get this finished because I'm still in the lead on this. If I score this fast, that's five points. So I need two lemons and I need three grapes. I don't have any of that stuff. So I need lemons. So I'm just going to go one, two, three, and that gets me the two lemons I need over here. And now if I can just get three grapes, I can make this delivery and get that, this five points plus that five points. So that's my target. How will I get those grapes? I'll worry about that in the future. All I should be worrying about it now. Meanwhile, Jen is once again in her um, uh, sticky wicket of not having any way to deliver. Although again, she can always make a super delivery of 10. All right, so Jen can move over here to get one walnut or she can go three, one, two, three. I think she'll go one, two, three and get three oranges. All right, and now, now there's still, there's, there's still what? One, two, three, four, five oranges in the supply. So she's not worried about oranges spoiling. All right, and now next turn, she'll finally be able to get a delivery and make a big delivery. All right, my turn. I want three grapes. I want them so bad, but I cannot have them. I can, this guy completely skips it. This guy doesn't make it. So those grapes are not in my future. Although what I could do is I can go one, two. That gets me yet another burrow. And one, two almonds. Oh my goodness. And now these two guys will get me over here and that's the three grapes I need to make it. So I've got a plan. Um, and now it's Jen's turn. And she's gonna go one, two, which gets her three lemons, which is not quite enough. There's almost out of lemons. There's only two lemons left in the supply. So we're dangerously low on lemons, but she also got the last burrow. And now nobody wants to cross the line. I would have a lot more to lose. I'd lose three burrows to her one. So uh, it's my turn. Although I could, man, if I do this, I would cross this line. I'd lose my three burrows. She'd lose her one. And I could still make the delivery. But I'd be throwing away all these burrows I've earned. Yeah. But no, here's the other problem. No, wait. No, 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 I'm not worried because Jen cannot cross the line. She can't make me lose my burrow. So instead, I'm going to stick to the original plan. One, two, to get me the three grapes I need. And this is it, folks. It's coming up. I'm very excited. I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control. I think I like it. So now it's Jen's turn. I think she's going to make a delivery of the five. Oh, actually, maybe it's time for her to do a 10. Let, I have not looked at the situation for a while. So she's got like three oranges that could go right there. And that would leave seven more things to deliver. She's got one, two. She's got plenty of lemons. One, two, three, four, five. So that'd be like five lemons down over here. And then is there a double any place? No, there's not. But if she used her minus one, she can make a triple delivery. Is there a triple any place? Yeah. No, or no, actually, yeah. Is that right? Effectively, yes. Um, yeah. And man, man, why does she have no almonds? How does this keep happening? She needs those almonds to catch up because you can see that's about to happen. So I think she's going to make a super delivery for 10. Okay. And is this the best move? Uh, the five lemons plus the three oranges. Because there's no doubles. Is there another five she could do? No, she has no almonds. How does she have no almonds? Three oranges. She has no dates. Nope, and again, she has no dates. <laughs> she has no dates. Oh, dates are going to be her, the doom of her. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is the best move, but what the heck, she'll do it anyway. So that is... Or she doesn't have to use her super delivery because that's throwing two points away. She could just do a regular delivery with the burrow she just got. And instead, she could do three and three and save these. I think that's what she'll do. So she collected this, she collected this, she just got a uh, three and another three. Okay, and she's got one, two, three, four. She still needs to make a five delivery. She needs to make a delivery of five things to be able to get this six point. Right, so that is what her situ is looking like. And she's got a bunch of stuff. And, um, you know, and she's still got five of a kind, so she could still make the five of a kind next turn. But anyway, it's my turn, and I'm finally doing it. I'm using my burrow, and I'm delivering the two lemons and the three, and then I'm not delivering one, so I'm one short. 
but that's okay because I just got that and now this area is empty which means the finca comes down and whoever has delivered the most combined dates and I think this is still me I've done one two three Jen has only done one two it's amazing so I just got five more points just like that boom and I am doing quite nicely and it's Jen's turn and she's got all the stuff in the world but no way to deliver it Although she does have two more points because she hasn't used her super delivery. She could make this five. And say, oh, and what just came? Oh, no, so nothing more is going to come over here. Now, when three more Finkas come out, that triggers the end of the game. Who's delivered more stuff? I've done six, five, uh, so that's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Uh, so I've done 26 things. Jen has done 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Right, so I've done more. So I want this to finish as soon as possible. Since I've delivered more, I'll score that five points as well. So I need to be thinking about, I've got the oranges, but again, man, these almonds are just killing me. I could get one almond. Now this is interesting. If I just get one almond and then I use the minus one delivery, I could make this delivery with only one almond. And I could score that five points. I think giving up the three to be able to do that really quick is probably going to be worthwhile. But as you can see, it's not really my turn. It's Jen's turn. But you know what? I'm going to stop it right there because I think at this point, you folks have a pretty good idea of what Finca is all about. And now if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit the I in the top right corner of the screen or follow the show notes in five, four, three, two, one.